Hi, happy Thursday out there. Um, we've got lovely bright sunshine here in Cork today and we really have to enjoy it because from tomorrow for it would appear for most of the next week it looks like we're going to be having rain so a couple of days of sunshine here and we're just like okay soak up all the sunshine that we can get so that we uh, we can get ourselves through the next few days of rain. I want to give a huge thank you to anyone who has met me on tours and well not so much retreats but there were several different tours over the last few days so I've met one to four different tour groups um, three of them over the last weekend one from the weekend before another one from the last couple of days of the start of this week and I'm just about still standing. I like I am I'm a bit tired now at this stage. Um, I was full of energy this morning, but I can feel myself slowly starting to fade as the day goes on. So I want to at least I got in in here to talk with you um, before I totally crashed and burned for the rest of the evening. Um, Joy, happy to catch up with you live. Yeah, it was lovely. I love seeing people in, in person live. It is you forget how much fun events are. It's like you keep thinking, it's like, oh, we can do everything virtual. And you can, but there is just something about being able to meet people in person that makes such a big difference. Um, and I did realize as well that doing most of my teaching in Zoom, it's a little bit different. It's less interactive. It tends to veer more towards um, more lecturing and a little bit less discussion and obviously by its very nature not hands-on so it took me a few sessions to kind of get back into the rhythm of hands-in teaching and I had forgotten how much I enjoyed it and how tiring it was I'm, I mean I will not lie it is it's hard work but it's it is very rewarding but I've got a few weeks rest now and it's not till the middle of middle of when middle of July I've got one more class and then nothing till September so it was very very much all sandwiched in together into a few weeks I've got an actual list with me here today because there were several different things that I wanted to make sure I said to you all and I didn't forget so one thing I do want to say because I've had so many requests for the last while and it's been a while is we've got a blaster restock i'm very excited but we've got um where is it the nadur over here this has been out of stock for several months so that has been fully restocked and we are full of it same with uh, where are we the ore colorway here also known as mustard um has been restocked fully so there's loads and loads of this colorway now as well up so if you're waiting for the two of those they are now in the shop and ready to go in blasta um there is the quilter colorway we'll be expecting in the next day or two but it's it's very exciting when you've been waiting for a few months for something and to have it restocked so yay um so that's the first exciting thing now, let me put this down here and talk to you about the Lhasa Knit Along. If you're taking part of it and you're not in Knit Hub, I would really encourage you to jump in because there's some really lovely photos coming up. And I think that the tips people are sharing with each other and little, just small little tweaks that are making a big difference to them can be very, very helpful. So whether you want to get a bit of encouragement and seeing the photos or you want just a bit of help to figure out how to make some of the like the pearl four togethers of the knit four togethers a little bit easier for you i would suggest jumping in and reading through even if you just sit and read and you're not participating it's well worth jumping in because i, th I think it's very helpful so the final clue it means that we get to finish it now and this one we've got the first one was the back section and the right side and the right sleeve Clue two was the left side. And now you can probably guess what's coming next. And we're moving on to the body where you pick up stitches, work all the way around, and then the body is worked in one piece from the top down. Now I did this um, going straight down where there was no increases and decreases because I had it as kind of a wide swingy cardigan on me. There was plenty of positive ease. So I really didn't need to work as an A-line or anything like that. If you had it a bit snugger in the top and you wanted to come out, the stripes of garter stitch make it very easy to do because what you can actually do is every time you have a garter stitch stripe here, you can do 
two increases in this side and two on the other side. And then you'll have four extra stitches, which is the pattern repeat of the laced pattern. So by the time you move out of the garter stitch and into the lace, you'll have the right number of stitches to work a pattern repeat. So once you keep your increases or decreases to four stitch multiples, you're not going to have any problem with the stitch pattern. So it'll, it, it's one benefit of having the garter stitch in there is it gives you a place where you can add in increases or decreases if you want to add a little bit more body shaping. The other benefit of the garter stitch is the lace rows take a lot longer. They're very, and in the body, they're very long. By actually having sections of garter, it was, I liked the way it looked, but also it really helped my, my sanity and give me a little resting periods in between the strips of lace. So the, the garter stripes have got two, two fold uh, benefits really. Um, then when you get to the end, we initially don't do a bind off. We're going to leave the stitches because what you're going to do is pick up all the front ones, do your uh, garter stitch. And then at the very end, you've got I cord, um, I cord bind off. And while you're doing that, you're going to, where are we? Continue on down to the front. So you kind of, you'll bind off down here, turn your corner and then work bind off all the way across here and up the other side. So the entire extremity of it will have that I cord worked at the same time. So you'll have some of it will be picked up across the bottom of the garter stitch. It'll turn around the corners and you're even going to work the buttonholes with the garter stitch. So you can add loads and loads of extra little bits in at the very end there. And it also gives you a lot of control over where you put your buttonholes. So if you had, you know, when you've got a V coming down like this, uh, there's a marker put in so that it stops at the top of the V. So if you've added extra length into your cardigan, it then means that you can put the top buttonhole at the beginning of where you've got that, um, where you've got the stitch marker. So you can move those around to, to suit the body length you've created or how many buttons you want to put in. If you want to put less or you want to put more, it gives you a lot of ability to do that. So that is the loss of one. You can, like I said, jump into Knit Hub and that's where you can chat with other knitters about that. So that was the first thing I wanted to talk to you about. Um, the other thing that you're probably aware of is the Seasons Club, where I was kind of talking about last week. Summer season's almost done. There is two more days. It'll close on Saturday. So if you're already in the club, by the end of, um, it's about the middle of about the third week, 22nd, 25th, I think, I must have a look, uh, of July is when we're going to start shipping the orders out to you. And I think you're going to like it. We've got a couple of little extras in there that have been handmade here in Cork. So we'll, um, we'll get them all up and ready to go with um, as, as soon as we close the club so they know the exact numbers. Um, how do you find the knit along? Um, you've got a couple of different options. You can jump in. The pattern is called Lhasa, L-A father, like a, an accent over the A-S-A. -A. You can get it on Ravelry. If you just buy the pattern, you're going to get all of the clues together and you're also going to get access to the video, um, to, to the video knit along. So you just, you'll be able to have a, a, a code where you can put in and get all of the videos. As soon as we finish the knit along in a couple of weeks time, the videos are going to become a separate workshop. But for now, you're going to get them and you get them to keep for as long as you need. You can also go to my website, stoneandstitches.com and all of the, um, and all of the patterns are in there. So just look for Lhasa knit along or Lhasa cardigan and you'll be able to find it. Um, and then there's also a link to knit hub from there. So on there, you'll see the knit along and the active Lhasa. Yep, that's right. Um, it's just Irish for lace. We've also recently been kind of um, reinventing our Facebook group because over the last couple of weeks, Nadia has been kind of chatting a, a lot about what's been going on in social media in general. Like here, obviously, everyone's aware that Instagram is going through some very big changes. Everyone's seeing it looking a little different. There's a much bigger push towards reels and things like that, which they're fun to do, but they don't often not often they don't always transmit as much information as you want if you're trying to do more in-depth tutorials and things so we're kind of trying to figure out where all of our different online spaces will do different things so knit hub which is our own private forums are really great for discussion for knit along for help with patterns things like that because it's easy to find where you are i get notifications about everything very quickly and so it's much 
it's much cleaner, tidier, and it makes sense because it's our own space. We've been reinventing the Facebook group as a place for gathering information. So if you come in and you're like, how do I work the knit along on the Facebook group? Now it's just the Stone Stitches Facebook group and we're, we, they've added the ability to add guides in at the top. So Nadi has been putting in a guide to show you how knit alongs work and how that all gets put together. So it's we're kind of changing the space a little bit to, to basically be offering it as, as guides and how to navigate through some of the things because there are so many social media spaces and none of us want to be in all of them. So I um, want to make sure that if there's particular places you prefer to get your information, you know where to go and you can find it and you don't have to trawl through all of the various different other media channels because there's there's no reason for that. Um, we are So we're trying to make it so that each space is slightly different and if you know what you want, it should hopefully align with the same space. So if you like to be on Facebook, hopefully the groups work there. If you prefer a private space, NitHub should work for you. If you like seeing me standing up here and yammering away at Instagram, these aren't going away. I'll come up and chat with you every week, uh, let you know what's going on because uh, they're fun because I get to interact and the fact that you can actually chat with me at the same time is really good too. So if something pops up and you think about it, you can see it up along here. And one of course that we've started recently is uh, YouTube and the fact that I've always had tutorials up there. But over the last month or so, we've started a, a, a video blog or a vlog, in other words, um, where I get to go a little bit more in depth. It's a little slower paced um, and I've been taking community questions and answering them in more detail. So our fourth one has just been recorded and it's going to be released tomorrow morning. It'll come out and we took a, we went in depth on a couple of community questions. The first one was um, someone was asking about how um, you can take two yarns of different weights to combine them together to make a different weight. So I ended up going into a much more in-depth discussion on that. And the other one was someone wanted to change the shape of the neck and wanted some information on that. So I discussed a little bit. Both of those ended up becoming quite, quite elaborate answers, but hopefully it should be some good information. Um, you like seeing, the, uh, seeing me every Thursday and hearing all the news. Ah, very good. It's very helpful for me too because I f the weeks are so busy and there's so much happening that it's a reminder to kind of just stop for a second and think about what's been happening for the week and to make sure that if you like to listen to your news spoken rather than reading it, but also like very much also suggest to you um, to make sure that if you um, if you just like news direct that you've signed up for my newsletter so if you go into the the actual uh, what do you call it um, my profile in here you can actually just jump in there and you'll find a sign up for the newsletter and if you just want them very direct and to know what's going on it's the best way of making sure that you know what's going on and get discount codes and to be the first to hear about stuff going out so definitely would suggest jumping into the newsletter um, if you don't want to miss anything. Uh, now, after the few weeks that I've had in it, I can feel myself starting to fade for sure. Um, think, let me grab my list. I want to make sure I've told you about all the bits that um, I was going to talk about. I told you about the knit along for sure. Newsletter, the vlog, and the new yarns that we've got in, or not the new yarns, the old new yarns, the restock of Herblasta, of course. Um, the fact that we've now gotten a duo again. Um, hi Elsa Louise, you love the live. Oh, that's good. I enjoy doing it. I even if today I am tired, um, I'm definitely tired. And keeping my fingers crossed with all of the people that I've been around for the last few weeks that I managed to escape COVID. But if you don't see me next week, you will know I have succumbed. <laughs> so, but hopefully, hopefully I managed to just skirt around it. But we'll see. Um, but thank you all for joining me and I'll save it. So if you missed it and you want to watch it later, it's all up here. Um, you were saying the hub is excellent as well. Uh, thank you for all my socials. You're very welcome. It's, I, I enjoy it all. <laughs> if I was doing it all by myself, it would be hard going. But Nadia really makes it all possible because she pulls a lot of the other bits together. And then I just get to come up and chat with you all. So bye everyone.